Welcome everybody to Moxie's channel of English language, video number 19. My name is Andrew Moxham and it's great to have you here. Um, today we will be um, 18, I think, sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at that one down there. Um, to, today we, we will be doing some training but we will also be looking into another concept. And this concept is the corner store is a shop, okay? So the corner store may or may not be on a corner. The corner store is a generic term for all small local stores, shops, that you would buy um, uh, small electrical items, um, newspapers, ice creams, chocolate, sweets, bread and milk. Very common for picking up some bread and milk on the way home from work. I am going to the corner store. Very, very common. This is a corner store, but it does not have to be on the corner. So, I'll go through some, positive and negative. So, I am picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. I am not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Very, very common. Okay? So, that's why we're going to do training on that. Let's go. It is more the concept that I want you to understand <clears throat> Are you ready? I have picked up some bread and milk on the way home from work. Is that it? Sorry. I picked up some bread and milk from the corner. I have picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. Sorry. <laughs> I have not picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. I've picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. I haven't picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. I've picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. I haven't picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. I haven't. No, I haven't. What am I doing? That's supposed to be there. Sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> okay. Present tense. I am picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. I am not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. I'm picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. I'm not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, I'm picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. I'm not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Future tense. I am going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. I am not going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. I'm going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. I'm not going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, I'm going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to be. I'm not going to. See? I'm not going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. I'm not going to do that. See? I'm a little bit too accurate on that. It scares me. I will pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. I will not pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. I'll pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. I won't pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. Good. You, or oh, it could be you, I don't know. You're a slacker on that. You never pick it up, do you? Pick up my bread and milk. You have picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. You have not picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. You've picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. You haven't picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, you've picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. You haven't picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, you haven't. <laughs> Present tense. 
You are picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. You are not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. <laughs> You're picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. You're not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Are you picking up some bread and milk from the corner store? Are you not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store? I think this system works okay. I'm quite surprised with it actually. Because <laughs> you can see where they all are. It means I can speak faster because you're being programmed like a robot. Not guaranteed for everyone. You are going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. You are not going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. You're going to be you're going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. You're not going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. You're going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. You're not going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Yeah, I know you. You will pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. You will not pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. You'll pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. You won't pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. He or she, you know I like this one. <laughs> he has picked up some bread and milk from the corner, shore, corner store. She has not picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. He's picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. She hasn't picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, he's picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. She hasn't picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. <laughs> Stop doing that, sorry. <laughs> it's it's a way they it's a way people talk. It's true. They may as well just poke their tongue out at you. He is picking up some bread and milk at the corner store. She is not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. He's picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. She is not picking up... Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, uh. She's not picking up some... She's not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, she's picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. He's not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Uh. Future tense. He is going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. She is not going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. He's going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. She's not going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, she's going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. He's not going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. You know what he's like. <laughs> he will pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. She will not pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. He'll pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. She won't pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. Can I say something? Can you see how you're being programmed like a robot? Because every lesson is the same. Like canned food. And like a robot, you will say it. Not guaranteed for everyone. Like programming a robot. <laughs> that is... Okay, we. We have picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. We have not picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. We've picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. We haven't picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, we picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. We haven't picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. Present tense. We are picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. We are not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. We're picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. We're not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, we're picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. 
We're not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Not. We're not picking up. Picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Corner store. Yeah, that's it. That's truthfully. And some people speak very rough, like, I'm not doing that. I'm not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. See the mouth? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Nah, 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 nah. It's the way they speak. I mean, I'm not putting anyone down. I'm just trying to train you to understand people, different people speak um, with different accents. Do you notice to speak in the casual parlance, you need to start speaking like this. You need to start speaking like this, mate. You understand that? Well, but if you want to speak um, in ordinary parlance, you have to open your mouth and make all these um, directions. Um, in future lessons, once we get past all these, um, I will teach you pronunciation and all sorts of things. But for now, I want you to be able to speak to somebody, even with a, 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 um, a very strong accent. Um, that will be okay. You know. But we will speak about R's and um, G's and D's and all sorts of things. They. Past tense. What do you think of that? Probably not much, but let's go. <laughs> they have picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. They have not picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. They've picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. They haven't picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, they've picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. They haven't picked up some bread and milk from the corner store. Present tense. They are picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. They are not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. They are picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. They are not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, they're picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, they're not picking up some bread and milk from a corner store. Picking up some, picking up some, see that? Picking up some, picking up some. Picking up some, and even if you really get laid back, just kick your shoes off, you know, it doesn't matter. Picking up some, picking up some. The more you hear me say it, the better you will get at it. Because I used to be a metal, met, used to be a metal tradesperson, and I used to speak in very casual parlance. That's another way of saying very rough. <laughs> um, they are picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. They are not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. I'm not sure if I said this. They're picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. They're not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, they're picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, they're not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Right. It's good. This is a good one here. Very practical. Very practical. They are going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. They are not going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. They're going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. They're not going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, they're going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. They're not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. I'll try to really get into it now. Oh, they're not getting into that. They're not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. <laughs> I don't know what that was like, but... Okay, they will pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. They will not pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. They're going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. They're not going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, they're going to be picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. Oh, then they're not picking up some bread and milk from the corner store. They will pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. They will not pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. They'll pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. They won't pick up some bread and milk from the corner store. 
Congratulations, guys. That was good. That were long sentences, and I'm proud of you. Good one. I'll see you in number 19.